The universe is a dangerous and inhospitable place for human beings. Earth is like an oasis in a titanic, endless desert, filled with dangerous, eerie, incomprehensible objects. Magnetar, an anomalous neutron star, fits these attributes perfectly. Magnetar is extremely dangerous, even at a distance of millions of kilometers. This rare type of neutron star was discovered in 1998. Although the existence of such objects predicted back in 1992, the most striking feature of the strange star is its incredibly strong magnetic field of 10 11th Tesla. To understand the incredible power of the object, you can compare the strength of magnetic induction with that of the Earth. Even in the center of our planet, this parameter is 25 Gauss. At the surface, it is just 0.5 Gauss. One Tesla, 10,000 Gauss. An ordinary, frantically rotating neutron star has a magnetic field measured in trillions of Gauss, but the magnetar has 1,000 times more. It scares many scientists. First, let's answer the most relevant questions. How old is a magnetar? The strongest magnet in the universe lives for a relatively short time, about one million years. Moreover, the magnetic field is only active for 10,000 years. Stellar size. Amazingly, but the most powerful object in the universe has a minuscule size. Its diameter is similar to the settlement on Earth, about 20-30 kilometers. But the mass of the crumb is truly impressive. It can be larger than solar mass. How do they appear? Why are magnetars so heavy? The answer lies in the mystery of their birth. Magnets of incredible strength are formed during the death of extremely heavy stars, whose masses are more than 40 solar masses. At the explosion of Titan's gaseous layers, go on a journey through the vastness of space, and the nucleus is compressed under incredibly high pressure, causing the particles to stick together and turn into neutrons, and the density reaches atomic dimensions. It's not clear why pulses become magnetars at some point. What gives these mysterious objects such serious power? Astrophysics does not yet provide a definitive answer to this question. It is believed that when a pulsar rotates during its nucleation, a very powerful magnetic field is created. This happens due to the actualization of a complex process called active dynamo. The second hypothesis is that magnetars are members of a binary system of two stars. At first, they spin very close to each other and supposedly exchange matter. Eventually, one star explodes, throwing the companion away, and the star itself turns into a magnetar, the result of binary interaction. How much does a P weigh? A fragment of magnetar matter, the size of a small glass ball, weighs more than Mount Everest, about a hundred million tons. What else is fascinating about this striking object? It spins in a very fast dance that would be the envy of a professional ballerina. Several turnovers per second. Magnetar looks a lot like a classic neutron star, but it emits in a gamma-ray spectrum close to X-rays. The nature of these powerful flares, lasting a fraction of a second, is attributed to stoquakes. They're what distinguish magnetars from neutron stars. It's not just the planetary crust that goes through periods of activity. At the moment of formation, magnetars grow a rather dense shell, which at some point shifts and cracks, like the Earth's tectonic plates. This releases a stream of protons with the energy of 10,000 suns. The flash is visible at enormous distances. When a rift occurred at SGR 180620, 50,000 light years from Earth. The energy that the Sun has been radiating for 100,000 years was released in a short period of time. The colossal gamma ray burst 
which occurred not due to an explosion, but to a rank crack in the neutron crust, was not only visible, but also had a definite impact on the upper layers of the Earth's atmosphere. Needless to say, what would have been the consequences if the emission had occurred at a close distance? How likely is a gamma-ray burst sent by a magnetar to destroy our planet? There are probably about 30 million of these dangerous objects in the Milky Way. To date, astrophysicists know about 15 magnetars. The closest of them, 1E 1048.15937, in the Carina constellation, located at a distance of 9,000 light years, as well as SGR 1900 plus 14, shining in the Aquila constellation, more than 6,100 parsecs from Earth. Gamma-ray bursts of the latter once even caused disturbances in the ionosphere of the Earth. Notably, SGR 1745-2900, a magnetar just 0.3 light-years away from the black hole that lurks at the center of our galaxy, was discovered in 2013. It is the only object found so close to the 4 billion sun's mass vortex. The main question is, what is the danger of magnetars for the inhabitants of the Earth? If the object were in relative proximity to us, the question of humanity's survival would become very acute. And the danger is not that electronic media on the entire planet, including credit cards, would instantly demagnetize. Gamma ray bursts are the most deadly rays currently known. So if a magnetar in our galaxy were to begin radiating toward Earth, it would cause significant devastation. Being too far away, a magnetar could not burn the planet. But the effect of gamma-ray penetration would be tantamount to a nuclear explosion, causing radiation sickness and mass extinction. And the strongest magnetic field would simply tear apart the molecules that make up all life. Fortunately, magnetars are relatively rare and distant objects, so Earthlings have nothing to fear.